We now know the names of everyone who was on board that Cessna plane that crashed at North Perry Airport on Friday. We're learning more about them as well as the sole survivor who remains in the hospital. Felipe Bercera is the pilot and instructor killed in a plane crash at North Perry Airport Friday. Our news partners at Telemundo 51 interviewed him about flying back in June. He and 23-year-old passenger Shelby Thomas died when the Cessna crashed between runways shortly after takeoff. It took off. It then promptly went to a very high angle of attack. It crested the angle of attack at the top, did a nose down attitude, followed promptly by a left turn and impacted the ground in between the runways. There was no post crash fire, but the airplane was destroyed. The sole survivor of the crash, a 25 year old man from Georgia, remains in critical condition at Memorial Regional Hospital. His family is asking for privacy at this time. Investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board moved what's left of the plane to Florida Air Recovery in Fort Pierce, a company that specializes in dealing with crashed aircraft. Craft. There, they will work to figure out what went wrong. We will be able to do a thorough layout. We'll put the airplane back together again in a rough two-dimensional, three-dimensional uh, position on the floor, and that'll give us more um, uh, options and opportunities to find out what caused the accident. Investigators say the trio was on a discovery flight, a kind of introductory flight for people who are interested in learning to fly. Becerra flew for Icaro, a local flight school, the school director told us he knew Becerra well. As pilots, we know there's always a risk, says Saltos, but we minimize the risk because the passion is much greater than the risk. The NTSB says it appears that the plane's engine was at full power when the crash happened. They'll be looking into the rest of the aircraft, how it was performing, looking into the pilot, as well as the environment out here at the time of the crash to try to figure out what happened. Reporting in Pembroke Pines, Marissa Bag, NBC6 News.